Welcome everybody to our steps for multiplying by five in the Trettenberg speed system of basic mathematics. So uh, multiplying by five, like very similar to uh, all the rest of the rules is, or all the rest of the numbers is gonna have a set of rules that we're gonna have to follow. Now, if this is your first video on the Trettenberg system, I'm gonna go through it step by step so you can see exactly how we solve in the Trettenberg system. But um, if this couple video, you'll notice this that is, this is very similar to what I've previously gone over in other videos for multiplying by different numbers. So the rule of multiplying by five is you're gonna take half the neighbor plus five if the neighbor is odd. A couple things we wanna remember about uh, our neighbors and dividing by half. We are gonna add five when the neighbor is odd because remember when we take half of a number and especially like a number that's odd, if we take half of five that's 2.5. Well, to alleviate having a decimal, we're going to add 5 to it. So remember, half of 5 is going to be 2. All right, Half of 7 would be 3. So we're going to round down our decimal. And to kind of compensate for that, we're going to be adding the 5. Now, the Transberg system, for those of you that are uh, new to this, it's pretty much a way for us to eliminate having to remember our times tables. Here, we know that 8 times 5 is 40, and that's the way that most of us learned how to multiply numbers. Well, in the Trenberg system, what we do is we have our rule, like I previously spoke about, and that rule allows us to multiply different numbers by 5 in a very systematic way, and through practice, we can multiply them faster and faster. So if I was going to apply my rule to uh, 8 times 5, uh, you'll be able to see that this still works. So when we're talking about a neighbor, the neighbor is the number that's directly to the right of your number you're speaking with. So the neighbor of 8 is actually 0. There is no neighbor of 8. So um, half of my neighbor uh, 8 is actually going to be 0. Then we like to always put a 0 in front of our number. It doesn't change the value of the number, but we put the 0 in front. Therefore, we can use, um, use 8 as a neighbor because 8 is the neighbor of 0. So here, if I look at 0, I say 8 of its neighbor, which is 8, would be 4. And there again, by using the Trenberg system, you notice that we get the exact same answer. So let's go ahead and go through some examples so you guys can see how I'm going to work this out. Now again, for this video, I'm going to go through this very slowly and kind of step by step. Um, then in some later videos, I'll kind of show you how to talk about or how to say everything in your brain, and so it gets a lot quicker implementation. Um, in the Trenberg system, make sure that we put a zero in front, and then we underline. So uh, remember, first thing we need to do is we need to take whatever our neighbor is. So I see that this is six, it's even. So the number to the right is going to be, or my neighbor is zero. Oops, I don't want to use three. Let's use four. Just for purposes, you're going to see I'm going to start doing with the odds over here. So for the next one, I drop down the 0. For my next problem, I have um, 4. So all you're going to do for the rule is the, you're going to, going to take half the neighbor. So I look at 4. Half of my neighbor is 6, which is 3. Then I go over to 2, and I say half of the neighbor is 2. And then I go to 0. Half of my neighbor of 0 is 2, so half of 2 is 1. And it's very simply that easy. You're just going to take half of the neighbor and work through it. Now that's for an even. Now when it gets to an odd, like you said, now we have to add the rule of still taking half of the neighbor, but then also adding plus 5 if the neighbor is odd. So first thing, we're going to put a 0 and drop down. Now you notice my 1 is odd, so therefore I need to make sure that um, I'm going to take 0, which is my neighbor, but then since this was odd, I need to add 5 to it. So therefore my neighbor is 0, but then 0 plus 5 gives me 5. And we know that's going to be true as well. If you think about the old system, you know, if I was to multiply 5 times 1, my first number down would be 5. So I have that uh, right there. Then the next thing is I look at um, 7. So I'm going to take half of my neighbor, sorry, half of my neighbor, which would be 0. But again, then again, since this is odd, I'm going to add 5. So 0 plus 5 is 5. 
Then I move to my next one, two. Half of my neighbor, which is uh, seven, so half of seven is going to be three. Right there. Then I move to my next one, zero. Half of my neighbor, which is going to be one. So I'm multiplying 271 times five, I get 1,355. Lastly, let's work to this last one. Again, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you put a zero in front and we'll underline. We just do this so we can write our answer below. I notice half of or my neighbor for three, remember it's the first one, is always zero. Since this is odd though, we're gonna add five. So I'll have five. Then I move to the next one, six. This is even, so half of three is one. Move to the next one, this is odd, so we need to make sure that we're gonna add five to our answer. So I looked at five, the neighbor is six. Half of six is three, remember I had to add five, so I'll have eight. I go to four, half of five, which is two. Then I go to zero, zero, half of four is going to be two. So very simply guys, um, there is our rule for multiplying by five. Just remember to uh, half the neighbor and then add five if the neighbor was odd. So um, that's really your rule. Just make sure guys you practice over and over and over again. And that's really the only way uh, that you're going to get really good and really quick with this method. All right. Thanks again.